Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to write a function as the sum of its even part and also its odd part. And to do so, I will just make an observation with you guys first, right here. And I will call the function to be f of x as usual. And perhaps the easiest way to break a function down into two parts is, of course, to cut this into half and half. So let me look at this and then write it as f of x over 2. And then we add it with f of x over 2. And of course, when you combine them, you get the original back. And now we are going to review how we can check if a function is even or odd right here. Recall that if a function is even, and let me call that function to be capital E, the check is we just have to plug in negative x into E. And if we get E of positive x right here, then we know that E is an even function. Similarly, for the odd function, the check is pretty much the same. I will call this function to be capital O, and you pretty much plug in negative x right here as well. But in this case, you have to make sure that you can factor out the negative and you get negative O of x right here. If this happened, we can say that O is an odd function. And the observation is that both of this right here requires the negative x as the input. So we should also have f of negative x somewhere in our equation as well, isn't it? So to do that, let me just come here and perhaps I will just add f of negative x. Well, if I just do that, of course, I cannot, that's not legal. I will have to minus f of negative x then, then that's okay, right? So this is good, but we can do better because we see that we have denominator being two. So why don't we do this over two and this over two? And now let me rewrite everything again. I will write f of x as this part, which is just f of x plus f of negative x all over two. And then we combine this with this part, which is f of x minus f of negative x all over two, like that. And now I claim that this right here, it's in fact the even part of f of x. And this part right here is the odd part of f of x. And the question is, how can I convince you guys that? Of course, here is the check. We are going to do the check right here. So I will first just call this part to be e of x. I will show you guys that this is going to be even, and I will call this o of x. Okay? So to check, to convince you guys that this is indeed even, I just have to plug in negative x right here. So we are looking for e of negative x. Right? This is the check. And negative x right here for e, that just have to be negative x right here and here. So e of negative x is the same as saying f of negative x plus f of, we have this negative originally, right? Now we have this negative as the input. So we have negative, negative x like this. And this is still over 2. And now you see, of course, this is just f of negative x. And negative times negative is, of course, positive. So this is plus f of x over 2. And because the value of addition doesn't matter, so you can change that. So, of course, this is the same as f of x plus f of negative x over 2, which is just the original e of x, which is that part. So we know this has to be even. Similarly, for this right here, for the odd part, I will just plug in negative x right here as well for the O. And we see that plugging negative x here, we get f of negative x minus f of negative negative x. Right, so I'll just do this. Oops, wrong color, but it's okay. It's Christmas color, so be happy and divide it by 2, like this. And in this situation, we see that this is just f of negative x, and this is minus f of positive x now, and this is over 2. 
But for this time, the order, I want to switch it, but this is the subtraction, so we have to factor out a negative. And we see this is going to be this on the top, f of positive x first, and then minus f of negative x, and this is all over 2, right? because I factor out a negative. This right here was my original O, so we see that we have negative O of x. Therefore, this part is indeed odd. So that's cool, right? And now let me show you guys an example. So let's clean the board right here. And the example I'll do with you guys is that I will let f of x equal to e to the x. Right, let's consider e to the x right here. And we will break this down into its even part and its odd part. So we see that e to the x is equal to f of x is just e to the x. So we have e to the x. And f of negative x, we just have e to the negative x. So it's e to the x plus e to the negative x and then all over 2. And we are going to be adding this with e to the x minus e to the negative x all over 2 right here. And of course, if you work this out, you will of course get e to the x back. And now this is the even part. This is the odd part. But do we recognize what this is? This right here is that Cauch function. And this right here is that Singe function. So cool, isn't it? So in another word, Cauch x is just the even part of e to the x. And similarly, Singe x is just the odd part of e to the x. And of course, there are lots more things that can be said about Cauch and Singe. And if you guys want to see more, be sure you guys check out my other videos for it as well. Anyway, at the moment, that's it.